James wanted to write a book. He had been planning it for years, but was so busy with work that he never got around to doing it. When I retire, he says. James eventually retires and takes some time off to enjoy it before getting started on the book. Weeks turn into months, months turn into years. When asked about the book, he'll respond with, when I have some more time, maybe next spring. Yet he never does anything. He just sits around, reading the paper. He gets even less done than he did when he was working. And worse still, he sees nothing wrong with what he's become. It's almost like he's forgotten about all of the things he used to enjoy. It's heartbreaking, and if you're somebody who's always busy, it's easy to hate those who seem to have all the time in the world and yet waste it. The truth is, most of us aren't that busy. Yes, we might be for a portion of our week, but if we want something done, we need to get on and do it now. No use putting it off because it will never come around. And if it does, it won't be because we suddenly found ourselves less busy. It's because we put it ahead of everything else that we needed to get done. Indeed, I used to do college five days a week and work for three. Yet I could still get games made, videos done and music written. Using that logic, now I only have to do YouTube videos, I should be getting a lot more done. But I don't. I'm lazy and still have to push myself to get anything beyond the bare minimum done. If I put my mind to it, I could get a week's worth of videos done in two days. But they always take me a week and I never get enough time to do anything else. Work really does stretch to fill the time you allocate to it. And I only notice this during a crunch time, where I'm racing against the deadline and somehow get more done in a day than I had in the previous week. And I always feel the same way afterwards. If only I could live every day like this. I never do. Back at school, it was the case with revision. Now, it's with work. And I hate it. I waste so much time, and always will do. But there are ways of reducing this wasted time. And it means doing the things you don't enjoy again. Routine, discipline, things you don't like. Gym's a great example. You can very easily spare an hour a day for it, but you rarely will. Which is strange, because like when you do it, it feels great. Do you ever return from the gym thinking, wow, I wasted that time, I wish I hadn't gone? No, never. When you're lying in bed that night, it's always nice to be able to say, well, at least I went to the gym today, so the day wasn't entirely wasted. Well done. Give yourself a star. If you want something done, ask a busy person. And if you want more time to get stuff done, you need to have less spare time. Spare time is a black hole for productivity. Look at me trying to write this video. My body really doesn't want me to do it. I've showered, I've made food, I've tidied my room. I even went out for a bit to buy some bin bags from the corner shop, all because I'm avoiding doing stuff. A script that should have taken me half an hour to write has so far taken me four hours. If I have a tidy room, then I know that I'm not being busy enough. My great uncle once said that if you write down everything you intend to get done for the year, by the end, you'll only have managed half of it. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't write stuff down in the first place. Write more. You'll forever disappoint yourself with how little you can do in a day. At least aim high in the first place. I've tried to turn my work around this month with Operation Rebound. I intended on making a video every single day. I certainly failed with that. But hey, I've still got more done than if I hadn't attempted it. I've accepted that I'm always going to disappoint myself. A lot of the things that I want to make will never get made. But that's no excuse not to try it in the first place and to be strict to myself when I catch myself procrastinating. You hear that, James? Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams.